Make up a theory through a few pages seriously, and this is from Harvard University. A few days ago, Harvard Medical School wrote a paper that gave a surprising conclusion that the COVID-19 has already existed in China since August. After all, it is still Harvard University, right? So if they are really onto something, they must have those precise calculation and argumentation. But hey, here's what happened. The author of this paper, he opened a Chinese search engine and said, okay, check this out, cough and diarrhea have high index. Also, the number of cars in a children's hospital is more than before. So he said epidemics start from August. Seriously, are you kidding me? It is not really hard to understand. Since March, the White House has spread lots of false information. Such kind of anti-intellectualism hurricane keeps blowing. So Trump said inject this infectant could prevent COVID-19. Then the number of poisoning cases in the US steps up. The president again said Antifa was a demon behind the protests. Then Americans took to the streets with heavy weapons. But the biggest lie that White House have ever had, the coronavirus is just a little cold, nothing to worry about. I really think, Doctor, you want to treat this like you treat the flu, right? And this cost 2 million cases and over 100,000 deaths cases in the US. Since we still do not know much about the virus, different kinds of views are mixed in the sphere. This is normal and understandable. But if you are a government of a country, you just indulge, spread rumors, and just let it go straight to the academic field, man. You should really think about the responsibility. Scientific research allows hypothesis, but if it's just only blinded by the political bias and also misled by those anti-intellectualism, nothing will be more harmful to science than this.